Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to do these gorgeous full coverage nail extensions using the set from Gelfully. So let's get right into the video. All right, so I have featured this um, gel extension set quite a few times on my channel previously, and it's one of my all-time favorites, so I figured I would go ahead and record another short tutorial for you guys um, before I went ahead and did the design on these. So that is this video right here. And as always, I'm starting off with my cleaned and prepped natural nails, and then I am going to go in and size the full coverage tips to my nails. And when using full coverage tips like these, you do want to make sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall, cover the free edge properly, and also fit nicely around the cuticle area. And once you have all of the tips picked out and laid out, um, you want to go ahead and dehydrate the nail surface. This is going to make sure that the gel product applies and sticks to the nails as best as possible. So I'm applying a thin layer of that dehydrator. And then I'm going to go in with a layer of my Gel Fully Primer. And again, this is just going to help with adhesion and make sure our nails last as long as possible. And once I've done that, the next step is actually to apply a thin layer of the gel glue as a base coat. And like I just said for the previous two steps, this is really just going to help with longevity of the manicure. So I'm applying a thin, even layer of the gel base to all of my nails, and then I will be curing for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And now I'm going to go ahead with the actual tip application. So the first step is applying a bead of the gel into the well of the tip. Then I like to press down the tip onto my natural nail at a 45 degree angle from cuticle to free edge, and then pop that under my lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And I'm just going to be repeating this same process on all of my nails. I do find that a really small lamp um, really helps for a flash cure, and this is just uh, to get the gel and nail really stuck nicely into place. And then once I flash cure each of the nails for about 15 seconds or so, I do go in for a full cure under a larger lamp, and that's just going to make sure the gel is fully hardened. So I'm going to continue the application process, and with the gel fully set, these tips apply so great and the gel cures really fast, so there's uh, very little room for the gel to move around and bubbles to form. Here are what the nail extensions look like after freshly curing. Um, they are a little bit long for my liking, so that's why I'm going to take my Sparkle & Co tip cutter to just clip down some of that extra length. So I'm just going to place each of the false nails in the tip cutter and then press down where I want them to be cut. And then I'm going to go ahead and file them into shape. As you can see from my right hand, I'm going for sort of a short rounded almond, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing on these ones as well. So I just taper in those sidewalls and then round out the free edge. And of course, after I get the free edge and shape looking nice, I'm going to go over the surface of my nail extension to really just buff it out and make sure that the top coat has something to grip onto. Here are the nails after being fully filed. They look absolutely stunning and super natural on my nails. And now that the filing and the rest of the process is complete, I'm going to go in with a thin layer of the diamond top coat. This is a super shiny gel top coat that's going to give a nice finish to all of the extensions and prep them for any design or any color I'm going to be doing next. Now, if I was going to go in with a design right on these, um, I probably would have skipped this top coat and gone in with the gel base coat and then the nail art right away. Um, but for the sake of this video, I did go ahead and apply a gel top coat just to get a really nice appearance for the photos.
And then once my top coat is fully applied, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. And then I also rehydrated my skin and nails with some cuticle oil. And here's a finished look at the manicure I was able to create using the Gel Fully Nail Extension Set. I really love how these nails turned out, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.